Summit Teacher 7, Mr. Bear here. Today I'm going to be looking at the Tesla Cybertruck, some of its specifications, its prices, and whether I put in a pre order or not. First off, let's look at its overall exterior dimensions. This is a very large vehicle with a wheelbase of 149.9 inches, which is close to 20 inches longer than the wheelbase found in the H1 Hummer. Then its length is 231.7 inches. Will it fit in your garage? We'll see. The length of an H1 Hummer is 184.5 inches. Then its width is 79.8 inches and the width of the H1 is 86.5 inches. And then its height, just a little bit less, at 75 inches where the H1 is at 77 inches. So overall, you get a large vehicle. Now before we go over other specifications and pricing of this vehicle, I want to remind everyone to please subscribe to my channel, click on thumbs up and share the video, especially if you like it. Thank you very much. Now let's go on to other specifications and pricing. Currently there are three motor and battery configurations that you can have with your Cybertruck. Each one has a different price. On top of that, you can also buy full self-driving for an extra $7,000. Now the first one is a single motor rear wheel drive which does 0 to 60 in less than 6.5 seconds and has a range of over 250 miles. This configuration is priced at $39,900. Next we see the dual motor all wheel drive which does 0 to 60 in less than 4.5 seconds, has a range of over 300 miles and a cost of $49,900. The last configuration sounds like something out of a sports car with 0 to 60 time in less than 2.9 seconds and a range of over 500 miles. This has three motors, two in the back and one in the front. And it will set you back $69,900, which sounds like a bargain for that kind of performance. Now I want to compare the Tesla Cybertruck to the Ford F-150. As far as 0 to 60 time, it's much faster at 4.5 seconds versus the Raptor Super Crew hitting 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. They both seat 6. The towing capacity on the Cybertruck is up at 10,000 pounds and the towing capacity for the F-150 is 8,000 pounds. As far as price, the Cybertruck is actually less at 49,900 versus the Ford at 56,190. Now for the big question, did I put a pre-order on the Tesla Cybertruck? To tell you the truth, when I first saw it, I thought it was rather hideous and ugly, and truly believed that it was all just a joke by Elon Musk and that the real Cybertruck would come out after a few minutes. But after really digging into the specifications and looking at what this truck can do, I changed my mind and I put a pre-order on the mid-range dual motor version for $49,900. Some of the benefits that I saw right away was that the body is made up of stainless steel. In fact, it's 30X cold road stainless steel that's three millimeters thick. It does not rust and it will not dent easily. It has a large number of storage areas. One is in the front under the hood, which is called the frunk. Next, it has storage areas above the rear wheel wells in the back. It also has 100 square feet of storage area in the bed area. And this area can be covered for better security and it can actually incorporate solar panels giving an extra 15 miles a day of charge just by letting it sit out in the sun. The interior seats six and the front middle chair is able to fold down and be used as an armrest and more storage. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you again and bye-bye.